Well, bad news. There was a dog came on the property. Bit free chicken with a wolf dog. I spoke to the owner. Um, I've seen them around. It's Saturday, so there's more people here. The brown one I found over there, and he had a broken leg or something like that. He's, she's not walking well. Put her back in the coop. White one came back. They were just scratching around here. I was in the pen. Then I heard the dog coming up, chasing them. So the grey one and the black one I can't find. They must be somewhere there, hiding, alive or dead, I don't know. Oh, there's one. I think it's the black one. Hey, how are you? Oh, the, he bit you, I can see it. You alright? Where's your buddy? Go back. Where's your sister? I think she's alright. Come. My fault, you know, I shouldn't have let them outside. But they're always having such a good time. They always stay around the kitchen area and they're scratching around, having a lot of fun. But you know, maybe it wasn't wildlife, but a dog, which is not on the leash, is also one of the dangers for chicken that are walking around. So I have to build a fenced area here so they can scratch around and have their space outside um, sooner or later this is gonna happen again another project well the fourth one made it back to Looks unharmed. Yeah, she's fine. Good.
Right, then I'm gonna go down. Mm -hmm. So we were out of concrete. I highly underestimated the amount that I needed. I mean, we got halfway. So um, I went down, got more sand, more cement. Tomorrow I'm gonna go down again, just to be sure I have enough. Um, the slab is gonna be around 11, 12 centimeters. Some place slightly thicker and thinner because the floor is not completely flat. Um, but yeah, needed more. There's a lot of concrete going in there, so 
so tomorrow we finish it so it's not one pour which is not ideal it should be one mix which can cure in one go and now it's two that are connected together so it's not how it should be but it's gonna be acceptable raining again I had ordered a sand truck to deliver today but they're not coming because it rains because you got stuck last time so I'm gonna have to go up and down a few times myself if I can come out I don't know it looks bad the thing is it's not on the forecast there's so much rain every day that it, uh, it drains the, the road it gets muddy and the ground is saturated the water can go away and it's difficult with the car so it's not good Catch the drone of this? Yeah. I did it as well for a while in Mexico. At some point I cut my hand with it. Maybe you do that. Thank you. Yeah, I mean I
So those were the two last parts for the sewage system. I wanted to have it in this week, but it all took longer. Um, I think I've been up and down six times with the trailer, mostly to get sand and aggregate for the concrete. That took a bit longer. It's been a wet week again, so a lot of rain. It's still muddy. I mean, more than ever, actually. Like right now, I couldn't get up with the trailer. It's right here. I just had to leave it. I was just slipping too much. So um, I'm changing priorities a bit. I want to have this road fixed before winter because I'm done with these problems of getting stuck. In winter was the snow and the uneven terrain. Now it's the mud because of the amount of rain. So I'm thinking to get another setup, another car, bigger car with a slightly bigger trailer with a double X trailer so I can actually just bring more in, you know. For this floor, I needed to go up how many times? Eight or nine times in total, like a few times last week. I can get 800 kilogram of material into the trailer and above that I'm, I'm having trouble to get up the mountain. So a, a bigger car would be, uh, would be great because if I want to make this road um, better rideable uh, I need to even it out first so the grade is not going like that but it's just it's a more um, regular grade and I need to put some gravel in there that is easy to compact and will prevent the road from getting muddy I also need to dig swales because um, all the rainwater from up on the mountain comes over here and that's why this part is always kind of muddy and it takes time to dry up. And the swales are... I don't know if you call them swales, they are perpendicular to the road. So the road goes down, water usually follows the roads because that's the deepest. The tracks, the tire tracks are the deepest part of the roads. And then you'll cut a little trench in so water can actually go up the mountain and not via the road. So that's why I'm going to kind of like mix in the work for the coming months. So this winter, because I probably want to keep working. Um, yeah, lots to do. But it's going well, it's going forward. Uh, sometimes I want to go faster, but I have to tell myself if things are taking slower, it's, that's just how it goes. You have to regroup, organize and just keep going. And, uh, it will it will work out.